here are some kettlebell training fixes that you can apply to exercises that you perform. First is going to be the high pull. So instead of doing a upright row like so, try to elevate the kettlebell up. Try to make it float higher. Do a few of those and then transition into a snatch. In the renegade row, when you row, try to avoid the kettlebell twisting your body. So you must plank, brace your abs, squeeze your glutes, contract your quads, push through your toes, and fight the rotation as you row. In the single leg deadlift, instead of just bending over like that, try to sit back, bend your knees, and keep the kettlebell close to your center of gravity. Try to bring it down close to your foot. Extend your hips, squeeze your glutes. In the windmill, now instead of doing simply just a hinge, what you want to do is create a rotation of your torso at the same time that you hinge. So hinge your hips, then rotate your torso at the same time. You're going to be able to go deeper and it's going to be safer on your spine. In the get up, now this is a common mistake. People forget to do the windshield wiper. So it goes down, up, takes it in the back. The get up is not a side bend. So you must windshield wiper, very important. In the tall sit, low sweep, align the knee, foot with the hand. Comes back down, windshield wiper, reaches out, and safely comes back down. So these are my kettlebell training tips and fixes.